Hello and welcome to this edition of Extension Ed Talks. I'm Erin Petersilly. I'm the Family and Consumer Science Agent for the Walnut Creek District, which serves Rush, Ness, and Lane counties here in the Northwest area of Kansas. Today we are going to talk about Medicare. This is Medicare Basics. This is for those of you that are maybe brand new to Medicare, looking to join Medicare, even those that have end-stage renal disease and will be starting on Medicare, or those of you that are on disability and starting to medic on Medicare. This presentation is not going to answer all of your questions. However, the goal is that it will give you a good foundation for what Medicare is and what it will provide for you. When we go to enroll in Medicare, the first thing that we need to understand is it is an insurance program, but it is a joint partnership between you and Medicare. Medicare is not going to cover everything. That's a common belief that many people have when they get on Medicare thinking, oh, I'm on Medicare, it will take care of all of my needs. And that's simply not true. It will take care of some things, but there are some things that are going to be your responsibility. We need to understand that Medicare is a huge system, that it has many facets to it, that there are many ways to use the system, and we need to find out what is best for you to get your coverage within that system. So what is Medicare? Medicare is a health insurance program for three groups of people. Those that are 65 and older, those that are under the age of 65 with certain disabilities, and those that are at any age with end-stage renal disease. It is administered by CMS, or the Center for Medicaid and Medicare Services, but our enrollment actually happens through the Social Security Administration system. Or for those that have been um, a railroad retiree, you will go through your railroad retire, um, retirement board for that. When Social Security was first set up in 1965 and we started with Medicare with the signing of Lyndon B. Johnson, the railroad retirement decided that yes, this system is fine, but we want to be able to handle our own retirees. And this is what formed the Railroad Retirement Board and Social Security Administration, although they do pretty much mirror each other in the way that they operate. There are four parts to Medicare. We have A and B, which is considered original Medicare. So this is what started in 1965. Part A being your hospital insurance, part B being the doctors and the medical insurance side of things. And then they looked at it and said, you know, we need to make the system a little bit better. And along came part C and a way to be able to fill the gaps that Medicare does not cover. And then we have the newest part to Medicare, Medicare part D, which is our prescription drug coverage. So what does Medicare Part A and B cover? Remember that I said that there are going to be things that Medicare doesn't pay for, and that is what this chart is. And let's go to the next slide here and we'll go through some specifics. Part A coverage is that inpatient hospital stay. Now, a lot of times when we go into the hospital, a doctor will admit you for observation. When you are in observation, Medicare Part A is not going to pay for that. It only pays when you are an inpatient. So you need to understand where you are at in the hospital in that check-in system. It will take care of skilled nursing facility. It will take care of your home health care, your hospice care. And as long as you have worked 10 or more years, which is 40 quarters, then Medicare Part A is not going to cost you anything. Now, this also includes if you can go with a spouse. So let's say that I have never worked. I've always been a stay-at-home mom, but my husband has worked and he has paid into that system. I can use his benefits and there's no penalty, there's no a decrease in benefits because I'm using them, he can use them, I can use them, and they are going to be the same for both of us. So you can qualify under different people, whether it be an ex-spouse or maybe because you have been widowed. There are lots of ways that you can qualify with Medicare and get this Part A taken care of. Now, if you have worked less than 30 quarters, that is going to cost you, Part A alone is going to cost you $407 a month. If you've worked 30 to 39 quarters, it will pay, it will cost you $224 per month to have Medicare Part A. We're going to take just a quick break and then we will come back to talk about what Medicare Part B is. Make a difficult choice an easy one with Cedar View Assisted Living's knowledgeable and caring staff. Your loved one will be professionally taken care of as they transition into their new community. With movies, holiday parties, planned exercises and games, residents will have opportunities every day to enjoy their time at Cedar View. 
Multiple room styles are available, ensuring a just right fit for your loved one. Come see Cedarview Assisted Living for yourself next to Sternberg Museum. The care you need, the home you want. Your house is more than just a house. It's a home for your family to grow. It's a place where you feel the most comfortable and can be yourself. Shop at Paul's Furniture Company in Selden so your family can select the perfect pieces for all the rooms in your house. With over 17,000 square feet of selection, they are sure to have the styles that will please everyone, even the kids. Visit Paul's Furniture Company in Selden where they'll help you feel at home. Visit us online at paulsfurnitureco.com. All Face Funeral Chapel and Smith Center can help you and your loved ones prepare for a difficult time with pre-arranged funeral planning. Not only will it be a stress reliever during a tough time, it will save your family money by locking in a guaranteed rate so funeral costs will be less of a burden. Pre-arranged funeral plans now have options to make paying for a funeral easier, such as a 3, 5, and 7 year payment option. Call 785-686-4120 or visit allfacefuneralchapel.com. Here in the Heartland, we make things homemade with precision and care. Robin Insurance is no different. Their family creates tailored plans to keep your family safe. They are a family-owned and operated agency that also offers commercial, farm, and crop insurance. With quick, fair claims, your matter will be held professionally and with excellent customer service. Robin Insurance, the corner post of insurance since 1936. See their ad in the next tech directory. The Rusty Tractor in Kensington offers big city dining with a small town feel. The Rusty Tractor features hand cut steaks, burgers, wraps and more, all with generous portions and quality products. The Rusty Tractor is proud to serve the area farming communities and welcomes everyone. Come as you are in your boots and jeans. You'll be right at home. Open daily and conveniently located on Highway 36. For more information, find them on Facebook or for a full menu, visit RustyTractorKensington.com. Here come the men in black trucks for all your home needs. If you need repairs or a professional to check your home for damage, call the local guys you know and trust at AquaShield Roofing and Construction. Their five-year warranty will give you the peace of mind you need from a company that will be there to stand behind their work. Call AquaShield Roofing and Construction at 785-475-2533 or visit AquaShieldRoofing.com today. So in this last segment, we talked about Medicare Part A and realizing that that is just one portion to the Medicare pieces. So now we're going to talk about Medicare Part B coverage. And this is where your doctor's visits come in, your outpatient hospital care, physical, occupational, speech therapist. This is also that durable medical equipment. So if you, can, if you need that CPAP machine, this is where Medicare is going to help pay for it. If you wear an insulin pump, that's considered durable medical equipment. That is what will, this is where in Medicare it will be covered. So for most incomes in 2016, it is going to cost you $121.80 to get Part B. Remember, we said Medicare is all about a partnership and it's not just provided to you for free. There's going to be pieces that you're going to pick up and there's going to be pieces that Medicare picks up. And for you to pick up Part B, we're looking at $121.80 for most incomes. Now, individuals that are earning over $85,000 a year or married couples that are earning over $170,000 per year, you're going to see an increase in your premiums and it's based on a sliding scale up to a certain amount. At the same time, if you are way under, there, there is a limit here on the bottom side of things where you can get help paying for these Part B services. And then in 2016, we saw a $166 deductible for the year. So the first $166 of your medical expenses, say you go and visit the doctor, are on you, just like they would be when you had private insurance. So how do we enroll in Medicare? It's automatic for those that are already receiving their Social Security benefits. So let's say I'm 62, I decided that I wanted to take my Social Security benefits, then at age 65, I am going to get this packet in the mail with my social with my Medicare card. Again, same way with the railroad retirement benefits, if you are already taking those, then that enrollment is automatic. The big thing to remember here is it's all about this initial enrollment period. And your initial enrollment period is going to happen three months before you turn 65, the month you turn 65, 
and three months after you turn 65. So those seven months, the three months before, the month of, and the three months after are when you can enroll in Medicare with no penalty. Now there are other times that you're going to be able to enroll without a penalty as well, and we will talk about when those happen. So we've talked about when you turn 65. If you are on disability and eligible for Medicare, you will be, get your Medicare coverage in the 25th month that you are on disability. So just because you're on disability does not mean your Medicare starts immediately. It will start the 25th month of that qualified disability. So when you get your Medicare card, if you're one of those automatic people, you're simply going to look at it. If you want to keep your parts A and part B, sign your Medicare card, keep it in a safe spot, you're good to go and begin using it once you reach that date. And if you look, if we hold on to this screen here for just a second, you can see the parts of the Medicare card and it will give you an effective date for that. So if this one's um, July 1, then that's when you can begin using it. If you don't want Part B, then you can simply refuse it and you're going to follow the instructions on the back and then they'll send you back a card that has just your Part A. Your Medicare card is going to tell us several things. It's going to have your name on it. It is going to have a number, which is usually your social security number. It is also going to have a letter. That letter tells us whether or not you are applying on your own benefit or on a spouse's or an ex-spouse or a widowed spouse, any of those former spouse, you know, any of those sort of things is what it's going to tell us. It's also going to tell us if you are receiving Medicare benefits, but you haven't chosen to take social security yet. It will tell you when your effective date for Part A and B is as well. So lots of pieces of information when we talk about that Medicare card. So how do we enroll if enrollment is not automatic? We are going to go to Social Security. Now, many people, we still like to work face-to-face -face with people, so they're going to want to go down to Social Security and sign up with them. And that still works, you can still do that. Know that Social Security has about a six week wait period. So if you're thinking about this is how you want to do it, you need to allow plenty of time because they are so backed up. However, um, you don't have to go to Social Security. You can do this online. And if online frightens you, come in, find a SHIC counselor. We can help you enroll in this because it is really very easy and very, very straightforward. So when to enroll? You do not have to be retired to enroll in Medicare. Remember, like we said, your initial enrollment period is those first six months, or excuse me, the, those seven months, three months before you turn 65, the month you turn 65, and the three months after you. But you need to understand that there may be some penalties if you delay enrollment. We're going to take just a quick break and then we're going to come back and talk about how we make those decisions for Part B and whether or not you should sign up for it. The plumber said there's something wrong with my water. It looks like you have hard water. You need a water softener. Let me show you the options we have. Hey, do you guys deliver salt? We sure do. What about drinking water? We have water coolers and drinking water systems. We even have bottled water. Find us on Facebook and it's betterwater.com. And remember, it's not just water, it's better water. If you could, what would you have in your kitchen? The quietest dishwasher? Sure. A big 28 cubic foot refrigerator? Oh yeah. A true convection wall oven? Check. You'll find Frigidaire Professional Kitchen Appliances at Genuine Appliance in Hayes. They have all that, plus real stainless steel for fewer fingerprints and smudges. Frigidaire at Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th in Hayes. Your dream kitchen doesn't have to be a dream anymore. The easiest way for you to get anywhere in the country is the Hayes Regional Airport. Twice daily flights between Hayes and Denver means you are only 45 minutes from over 100 direct flights to get you to your destination as quick as possible. Service from SkyWest has completely changed the flight experience out of Hayes thanks to the 50 passenger jets that include complimentary beverages and an in-flight restroom. With free parking and short security lines, there has never been a better time to use the Hayes Regional Airport. The next time you travel, check Hayes first at flyhays.com to see the time and money you could save. Hi. We're looking for insurance. Oh, let's see who's free. Jerry? When insurance agents work for only one company, Michael. their options are simply limited. Everybody! 
But a trusted choice independent agent is free to shop many companies for a better deal. Free to do what's right for you. Let us shop for you. Contact Rogers & Associate to learn more. Make moving and storing your home or business easy with storage solutions of Hayes and Victoria. With two facilities, they can store anything from antiques to automobiles and everything in between. Interior units for items needing special care. Drive-up units of all sizes, perfect for a home or business. And outside storage for trucks, boats, and RVs. As an authorized U-Haul dealer, they have everything for your next move across town or across the country. Storage solutions of Hayes and Victoria. Making moving and storing easy. Western Auction and Real Estate LLC is ready to travel to you. Their team includes auctioneers and real estate specialists that will exceed your expectations. They offer experience in agriculture real estate, commercial and residential sales, and farm equipment auctions. Plus, they conveniently travel to your location. And it doesn't stop there. Visit westernauctionandrealestate.com today to shop their online equipment auctions too. For professionalism from concept to completion, it's Western Auction and Real Estate. Okay, so on the previous segment, we talked about parts A, we've talked about part B a little bit, and that's where we left off of when should we sign up for part B, because this is really a decision that we have to make. With part A, for most of us, it's free. Why not take it? It is simply supplementing the insurance that we already have. We go, we stay in the hospital, our private insurance pays, our Medicare is going to pay, and then hopefully we end up with no bill. But what do we do about Part B? Because Part B, remember, is going to have a fee that we're going to pay to enroll in it. So then that's where those decisions maybe become a little bit more tricky. So things that we should consider. Your enrollment in Part B is going to be automatic if you're already taking your Social Security. It doesn't mean that you have to keep it, but know that that enrollment will be automatic. But that most people are going to pay a monthly premium. And that is simply going to be taken out of your Social Security or your railroad retirement benefits. The amount that's going to, going to be taken out is going to be dependent upon your income. Remember, if you're one of those high earners, you're going to have more taken out. If you're one of those very low earners, then you're going to have less taken out. And this may supplement your employee coverage. So considerations that we need to continue to make is sometimes you have to have Part B. If you have a Medigap policy or if you're wanting to buy a Medigap policy, you need to have Part B in place. If you're wanting to sign up for a Medicare Advantage plan, you're going to have to have Part B in place. If you're eligible for TRICARE, maybe your employer coverage requires that you go ahead and take Part B. You need to talk to a benefits administrator, though, to check on that piece of it. Veterans benefits, it becomes optional. For those of you that are a veteran, first off, thank you for your service, okay? Second off, Veterans benefits can become very confusing. It is going to be very important that you talk to the VA and that you know exactly what benefits you will have coming to you and how it will work if you choose to get on Medicare and what some of your options are. Again, know that there could be a penalty if you sign up late or if you didn't sign up during that initial enrollment period. So other things to, that consider is if you don't have coverage from active employment, meaning if I'm no longer working, I may need to consider signing up for Part B. Or if I'm no longer working, but my husband is continuing to work and I can still get my health insurance through there, I may not need to go ahead and sign up for Part B. But know again that if I miss some of those enrollment periods, I could end up paying higher premiums. If you do not have coverage through active employment, um, sorry, if, excuse me, if you do have coverage through active employment, you may want to delay. Just like I said, if I am able to do it through my husband's, it may be beneficial for me to delay that enrollment because it may be cheaper for me later um, to delay that. There's no penalty if you enroll while you have coverage or within eight months. So let's say I'm 65 years old. I turn 65 in January, I want to continue working, but July comes along and I've decided, you know, it's really time for me to retire. And I can do that and I have the next eight months to go ahead and pick up Part B without a penalty. Same way if I wanted my husband's coverage, let's say we, again, we both turn 65, I'm on his coverage, he decides later on that, you know, it's time for me to retire and I've been covered with him then we can, we have those eight months after he loses that benefit to be able to sign up for Part B without a penalty. 
So then we have the question of how does Medicare play when we have COBRA, COBRA being the Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act. This is simply a continuation of your group insurance. You buy it at full price, there's a 2% administration fee. But when you do this, um, let's say I'm 64 years old, I've decided to retire, and I'm just going to go on to COBRA for the next year until I turn 65, I must switch once I turn 65. Now, if I need family members to stay on my policy, I can continue to allow them to stay on that COBRA policy. They can't go on to your Medicare policy, but they can stay on to that COBRA policy until that 18 months does run out. Again, this is something you need to talk to your benefits administrator about so that you understand exactly what your coverage is going to be with COBRA and how that is going to work. But again, if this is something that before you turn 65, if you're on COBRA, when you turn 65, you will need to go into Medicare Part B. Um, COBRA is not considered coverage through active employment. So then we've, ha we've talked about this initial enrollment period and we talked about it being the three months before you turn 65, the month you turn 65, and the three months after. Then we have what's called special enrollment periods. And you must be an active employee or have employee group health insurance to have a special enrollment period. And this is what is going to happen when you've been working, you're 70 years old, you've continued working, you didn't need Medicare Part B because your job provided you with health insurance that was as good or better than Medicare's. That's going to be a very important key. And you've decided that at 70, you know what, it's time for me to retire. This is that special enrollment period that you are going to be granted that will allow you to enroll for the next eight months and you'll have no premium penalties. Um, I made a comment about coverage, credible coverage is what we call that, where it's as good or better than Medicare. This is a very important piece. Every year with your health insurance, whether it's your comprehensive health insurance or, and it'll talk about your drug plan, if there is um, a drug plan that goes with your plan, um, your private health insurance plan, you will get a letter that says you have what is considered credible coverage, meaning it's as good or better than Medicare. And as long as you have credible coverage, then we have no worry about going over into these penalties. Now, as soon as you lose having credible coverage, it will be important for you to pick up those other parts to Medicare because the coverage you have is not considered as good or better than Medicare. So then we have these people that need a general enrollment period. They have decided that uh, I'm not gonna worry about Medicare, I'm fine. So maybe they retired when they were 70, they're 80 now and they've decided I really should get some Medicare. How do I enroll? Well, for them, they can only enroll January 1st to March 31st of every year. And then their coverage is not going to begin until July 1. So you're going to go those six months without coverage. Well, you've been going without coverage, but you're gonna to continue to go without coverage. So their Medicare is not going to start until July 1. So that general enrollment period is always January 1 to March 31st with coverage beginning July 1. And that is for people that have missed all those other enrollment periods. But remember, we're working with the government, so there's going to be a penalty involved. If you have missed all of these, they're going to do a 10% penalty for each of the 12 months that you should have been enrolled and weren't. And that 10% is going to be based off of your Part B. These penalties can add up to be significant amounts. So be very, very careful that you're paying attention and knowing when you should enroll because these penalties can make a huge difference in, in your budget and what you're going to have to pay to get your Medicare coverage. We've talked about original Medicare being any hospital, doctor, or specialist who accepts Medicare. With that, we have a couple of little caveats that we want to think about. First off, when you go to a doctor or a hospital, do they accept Medicare? That's always your first question. The second question is, do they accept assignment? Meaning, did they take what Medicare says the procedure is going to cost? If they accept assignment, Medicare has said, this procedure is $100 and it means they're going to take the $100 that Medicare has said that this costs and that you're not going to pay anything. If they simply accept Medicare but don't accept assignment, each doctor or procedure, anything that you have done, can have a 15% excess charge. And that excess charge is then what you are going to be responsible for. So the two questions that you always need to ask 
do you accept Medicare? Do you accept assignment? And then there's even going to be a third question when we get to your Medigap policies of do you accept my supplemental policy insurance? Medigap supplement and policies is the next segment that we will be going into after we take this short break and we will talk about how we start supplementing Medicare and filling in the gaps. Make a difficult choice an easy one with Cedarview Assisted Living's knowledgeable and caring staff. Your loved one will be professionally taken care of as they transition into their new community. With movies, holiday parties, planned exercises and games, residents will have opportunities every day to enjoy their time at Cedarview. Multiple room styles are available, ensuring a just right fit for your loved one. Come see Cedarview Assisted Living for yourself next to Sternberg Museum. The care you need, the home you want. The plumber said there's something wrong with my water. It looks like you have hard water. You need a water softener. Let me show you the options we have. Hey, do you guys deliver salt? We sure do. What about drinking water? We have water coolers and drinking water systems. We even have bottled water. Find us on Facebook and itsbetterwater.com. And remember, it's not in water. If you could, what would you have in your kitchen? The quietest dishwasher? Sure. A big 28 cubic foot refrigerator? Oh yeah. A true convection wall oven? Check. You'll find Frigidaire Professional Kitchen Appliances at Genuine Appliance in Hayes. They have all that, plus real stainless steel for fewer fingerprints and smudges. Frigidaire at Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th in Hayes. Your dream kitchen doesn't have to be a dream anymore. The easiest way for you to get anywhere in the country is the Hayes Regional Airport. Twice daily flights between Hayes and Denver means you are only 45 minutes from over 100 direct flights to get you to your destination as quick as possible. Service from SkyWest has completely changed the flight experience out of Hayes thanks to the 50 passenger jets that include complimentary beverages and an in-flight restroom. With free parking and short security lines, there has never been a better time to use the Hayes Regional Airport. The next time you travel, check Hayes first at flyhays.com to see the time and money you could save. Hi. We're looking for insurance. Oh, let's see who's free. When insurance agents work for only one company, Michael. their options are simply limited. Everybody! But a trusted choice independent agent is free to shop many companies for a better deal. Free to do what's right for you. Let us shop for you. Contact Rogers & Associate to learn more. Make moving and storing your home or business easy with storage solutions of Hayes and Victoria. With two facilities, they can store anything from antiques to automobiles and everything in between. Interior units for items needing special care, drive-up units of all sizes perfect for home or business, and outside storage for trucks, boats, and RVs. As an authorized U-Haul dealer, they have everything for your next move across town or across the country. Storage solutions of Hayes and Victoria, making moving and storing easy. Welcome back as we continue this conversation of Medicare Basics and how it works and building that good foundation for you so that you understand how Medicare may or may not work for you. As we've talked about Parts A and Part B being original Medicare, we've talked some about how there are gaps to Medicare and that you are going to have to pick up a certain portion of this. And this is where Medigap policies come into play in helping us to fill those gaps. They are also known as Medicare Supplement Insurance. So these are sold by private insurance companies. They're governed by state and federal law, and they do. They simply help us fill in the gap of original Medicare. Policies must follow the state and federal laws, and there's 10 standardized policies here in the state of Kansas. There are no family policies, so you are not going to have something that has both you and your husband covered, or maybe if you still have children that could be on an insurance plan, there's nothing that's going to cover families. This is simply going to be your policy. It does not cover, and you need to must understand this, that Medigap policies are not going to cover long-term care, hearing aids, vision, dental care, glasses, or private nursing. I find that many people are disappointed to find out that there is not any of that coverage when it comes to their Medigap policy. If you have a need to have these things covered, you are going to need to find a different policy, a separate policy that will help pay for these. Medigap, so you must have parts A and B to buy them. 
you are still going to pay that monthly premium to have them. And then the best time to actually buy these policies is the month you turn 65 and the five months after. You are this brand new spring chicken. They cannot deny you as long as if they're selling the policy, they can't refuse it to you. They can't make you wait to start for the coverage. They can't charge you more for certain health conditions. You are like this brand new spring chicken and you simply go out and get the policy. So I said there's 10 plans for Kansas. If you are in the state of Kansas, we have a Medicare supplement guide that is put out by our insurance commissioner. This is a wonderful book. Many of our extension offices have them. We keep them handy for people to take. The Social Security office, I believe, still has these available for you as well. You can also call your insurance commissioner and they will send this to you. It is online, but I find that many people like to have that hardback to be able to make notes, highlight the whole nine yards. The great thing about this book is it will tell you all 10 of these plans. It will also go through what the premiums are for these plans. So if I'm looking at, I know that I want a plan G, I know that I want it to be through Aetna, I'm 65, it tells me exactly how much it is. It gives me all the different companies that offer the different plans. And finally, it will give you all of the phone numbers for you to be able to contact these companies for more information. Just a couple things to remember that when we start talking to companies, it is illegal in the state of Kansas to go and sell insurance um, door to door without being invited. So if you get somebody that just comes up to your door and says that they're selling insurance, you need to be, should be very leery, call somebody. This is not, not an okay thing. Now, as soon as you sign something that says, I want to find out more information about your insurance company, then it's legal for them to send somebody to your door to talk to you about their insurance. So with these plans, we're gonna flip over here to the screen for just a second. One of the things that we look at is what is going to give us the most coverage. And if we look at this, we look down and our eyes will automatically go to plan F because F is going to fill in all the blanks that Medicare leaves open. We're also going to pay a premium when it comes to, comes to selecting plan F. But I want you to know that yes, plan F is very good. Plan G is also a very good plan. All of these are standardized. So it doesn't matter whether or not you choose Blue Cross and Blue Shield, you choose Aetna, you choose the Gerber Health Foundation. No matter what company you choose, Plan F is going to be the same with all of those companies. It is going to provide the same information, going to provide you with the same coverage as every company. Now, with that supplemental insurance, we need to make sure that we are going with a company or excuse me, going to doctors and pharmacists and hospitals that are accepting that coverage. So make sure that the plan you do select is being accepted by where you are going to doctor. One thing that I always tell people when it comes to their supplement option, this is a marriage. I want you to pick well, I want you to pick what you can afford. Just like a marriage, it doesn't mean that you can't get out of it, but it's easier if we don't have to. So remember that this is a marriage. Pick well, you want to stay with your company. Once you have selected a plan and you've been in it for a few years, maybe you've decided, oh, it's getting a little expensive. I want to try something else. It's not that you can't change companies. There are people that are very successful when they do get to change those companies, but you're not guaranteed issued. So they can start excluding you from certain things if they looked, oh, you know, he's got a heart condition. We may want to think about this. So be very careful. Remember that your supplement plan is a marriage and I want you to pick well. So another question that you may have is, do I even need the Medigap policy? First off, do you have original Medicare? Medigap does not work with Medicare Advantage plans. And we're going to talk about Medicare Advantage plans here in a minute. Medicare, we have Medicare supplement plans and we have Medicare Advantage plans and they don't work together. You're not going to need both. You can't have both, they're not going to work. Advantage plans is what we typically see on TV. A lot of times in the Northwest area, we see the Humana plans and they talk about an Advantage plan. Um, that's what you're seeing and we'll talk about what those are and how they work, but know that they don't work together. Do you have other coverage that supplements Medicare? So you may not need a Medigap policy. This is one of those, if you are continuing to work and your employer is providing you with that health insurance, you probably don't need a Medigap policy just yet. But once you leave the employment, once you lose that coverage, then we're looking to find a Medigap policy. 
Of course, we talked about can you afford it? Can you afford what the Medicare deductibles and the co-payments are if you didn't have the policy? And then can you afford what the policy is offering? And how much will the Medigap premium policy um, premium cost you? Many people find after they've been paying their private insurance on their own, they find that switching over to Medicare in a lot of ways can be a lot cheaper. So usually they're pretty excited about these premium costs. For you to be able to price compare, you can go online to the Kansas Insurance. Again, we've talked about the supplemental guide. They have this supplemental guide available to you online as well that you can simply print off. As a SHIC counselor, we are not going to be able to sell you these. These we're not. Remember, we're not selling things. Um, we can provide you information about them. We can help you compare, but you are actually going to work with the company to then provide your insurance. If you are disabled and how does Medicare work with that? You will be auto enrolled in parts A and B beginning the 25th month of your entitlement to those social security benefits, but you can decline part B and part D if you still have coverage from group health insurance, as long as that employer has more than 100 employees. It's one of those little quirks to Medicare. So they must have more than 100 employees. And again, just like with regular Medicare, you have to have both parts A and part B before you can get into that supplement. And we've talked about available at age 65. So if you are disabled at, let's say age 50, you go through, you've gotten all your things. Once you turn 65, you're going to get a new enrollment period. You're going to go through that initial enrollment period. And this is where you will be able to make changes to your Medicare. You'll be a brand new spring chicken. They're not going to look at any of your past information. So this is a lot of times where people can go ahead and make that change from what they were on when they were disabled. I said we're going to talk just a minute about Medicare Advantage plans. Not that a Medicare Advantage plan can't be good. There is just typically not an advantage to them in the western part of the state. We simply do not have the network of doctors and hospitals that accept them to make this a really good option. Um, they can work for some people. I want you to know that this is an option for you. I just don't want you to be too disappointed that you see all these advertisements on TV and the chances of them working are just very slim here for us in the western half of the state. There's simply another way to get Medicare coverage. It's not original Medicare. So a lot of times when we're talking about Advantage plans, this is where we start talking about HMOs, PPOs, um, PPFS. You can still get all the benefits of original Medicare. You're still going to pay a monthly premium to have this, and then you're going to have deductibles, co-payments, and co-insurance. Because we don't have a network of doctors and hospitals, let's say you go ahead and you get this Medicare Advantage plan. If you go to a doctor or a hospital that doesn't accept that plan, you are going to pay everything out of pocket. It's not going to count towards your out of pocket maximum because you went to somewhere that did not offer, did not accept this plan, you are out that entire amount of money. Um, so that's something to really think about when we get into these plans and knowing who accepts them and who doesn't. So if you want to join them, they do a lot of times offer a comprehensive plan. So this is a lot of times your supplement and your Part D all wrapped up into one. Again, we've got to look at whether or not they are available. Understand that you're going to pay a premium for them in addition to your Part B premium. You may need to have a referral to see that specialist that you need to see. You can only join and leave at certain times. Uh, we talked, mentioned earlier that they don't work with the Medigap or that supplemental policy. They're two different things. They don't play in the sandbox well together. And that you must have Part A's and Part B, excuse me, Part A and Part B to join those. You're going to have that seven month initial enrollment period like we've talked all along with Medicare. So again, you can repeat for, with me three months before, the month of, and three months after is that initial enrollment period. You can also join or change October 15th to December 7th of every year, and your coverage will begin then January 1st. There may, may be other special times, again, when you are looking to retire mid-year, so there are some special times that you can do this. And then to do this, you're simply going to call their phone number, visit their website, you can also go on to www.medicare.gov to find plans in our area from there. With that, we are going to go to a short commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to visit the final side of Medicare, Medicare Part D. 
safety at a peace of mind price. Next Tech Wireless introduces the simple starter plan. For only $15 per month, you can rest easy knowing you can always reach your child on their smartphone. The plan includes unlimited calling, unlimited texting, and unlimited data while on Wi-Fi. You don't have to worry about data overages and your child will enjoy all the benefits of a smartphone. It's the simple starter plan from Next Tech Wireless. Unlimited talk, text, and data while on Wi-Fi for only $15 per month. Your house is more than just a house. It's a home for your family to grow. It's a place where you feel the most comfortable and can be yourself. Shop at Paul's Furniture Company in Selden so your family can select the perfect pieces for all the rooms in your house. With over 17,000 square feet of selection, they are sure to have the styles that will please everyone, even the kids. Visit Paul's Furniture Company in Selden where they'll help you feel at home. Visit us online at paulsfurnitureco.com. All Face Funeral Chapel and Smith Center can help you and your loved ones prepare for a difficult time with prearranged funeral planning. Not only will it be a stress reliever during a tough time, it will save your family money by locking in a guaranteed rate so funeral costs will be less of a burden. Prearranged funeral plans now have options to make paying for a funeral easier, such as a 3, 5, and 7 year payment option. Call 785 686 4120 or visit allfacefuneralchapel.com. Here in the Heartland, we make things homemade with precision and care. Robin Insurance is no different. Their family creates tailored plans to keep your family safe. They are a family-owned and operated agency that also offers commercial, farm, and crop insurance. With quick, fair claims, your matter will be held professionally and with excellent customer service. Robin Insurance, the corner post of insurance since 1936. See their ad in the Next Tech directory. The Rusty Tractor in Kensington offers big city dining with a small town feel. The Rusty Tractor features hand cut steaks, burgers, wraps and more, all with generous portions and quality products. The Rusty Tractor is proud to serve the area farming communities and welcomes everyone. Come as you are in your boots and jeans. You'll be right at home. Open daily and conveniently located on Highway 36. For more information, find them on Facebook or for a full menu, visit RustyTractorKensington.com. Here come the men in black trucks for all your home needs. If you need repairs or a professional to check your home for damage, call the local guys you know and trust at AquaShield Roofing and Construction. Their five-year warranty will give you the peace of mind you need from a company that will be there to stand behind their work. Call AquaShield Roofing and Construction at 785-475-2533 or visit AquaShieldRoofing.com today. Welcome back. We have been through three parts of Medicare, A, B, and C, and now we're on to that final leg of the journey, Medicare Part D. This is the newest part to Medicare. This is our prescription drug coverage. Something that we need to understand with Medicare is Medicare is only going to pay for things that they consider medically necessary. And one of the th conversations that usually comes up happens with the prescription drug plan, and it comes with Viagra. So as serious of a condition as it may be, Medicare does not consider it medically necessary to have that medication. So you are not going to find a plan that is going to cover that. Know that that is one of those prescriptions that you are going to pay for completely out of pocket, that we aren't going to find any drug plans that are going to cover that prescription. So just understand we're all about things being medically necessary and Medicare is not going to see that as one of those things that they do find medically necessary. Again, with an um, enrollment, it's always during that seven month initial enrollment period is the first time you can enroll in Part D. So three months before, the month of, and three months following your 65th birthday. You can join or change plans during the annual fall enrollment. Fall enrollment is always October 15th to December 7th, and it doesn't matter when those dates fall on the calendar. So this year, October 15th falls on a Saturday. It doesn't mean that open enrollment starts Monday. Open enrollment starts October 15th and it ends December 7th. And then your coverage will begin January 1. But again, there's other special times that you can join one of these plans. So I said I want you to think about your Medicare supplement insurance as your marriage, okay? We wanted to pick really well. Well, I want you to think of your Part D as a dance. We want to pick a good partner Okay, we want something that's going to be economical for us. We want something that's going to cover and that's something that's going to work with us. 
And then every year, October 15th to December 7th, you're going to have that opportunity to change dance partners. So your supplement is your marriage and your D is your dance and that opportunity for you to change every year. And we can see a lot of savings every year when people do choose to do this because of the formularies changing and the different options that are available out there with your Medicare Part D. So when do I enroll? Well, do you have credible drug coverage? So if I'm 65, I'm still working, my employer is going to pay my health insurance, remember I'm going to get that piece of paper that says you have credible drug coverage, then I can wait. As long as my coverage is as good or better than Medicare's, I'm good to go. Will that coverage end when I retire? Maybe when I'm 67 and I decide that I am going to retire, am I going to continue to have that drug plan as part of my benefits? That's one of the things I need to think about or do I need to find something else? And again, you just go in and it'll work just like everything else. You'll have those eight months following to be able to sign up for that Part D. It's best to enroll in the cheapest plan if you don't take any medications and understand that this is going to be different insurance than your Medigap policy. So how do we choose? We're going to compare things like premiums, drug coverage, um, deductibles, co-insurance. What happens when we're in the gap or the donut hole as you may have heard it called? What happens if we need step therapy or prior authorization? All those things are going to be things that we can, can um, and need to make sure that we are comparing. And remember, we can do this October 15th to December 7th of every year. When we do this, you must have parts A and or part B you must live in the plan service area. It's no good if we don't have, um, aren't living in an area that was actually going to be covered by this. You can't live outside of the United States. You can't be incarcerated and you must enroll in Medicare Part D to a, avoid a penalty. In most cases, this is not going to be automatic enrollment and unless you have that credible coverage. So when it goes to Part D, penalty. Right now, the average, the cheapest plan, excuse me, is $18.60, I believe. And if I'm somebody that doesn't take any medications, I can go, well, why would I want to pay $18.60 every single month if I don't need it? And what happens is, remember, we're working with the government and we're talking about penalties, and those penalties are for life. So let's say three years go by, the average penalty right now, and that penalty amount can change, is 33 cents a month. So I'm going to pay about a $4 penalty for every year that I could have been on, and then that's going to be applied for every month. So if I've gone, let's back it up to even just a year without um, Part D and I decide then to get a plan, I'm going to pay a $4 penalty on top of the premium that I am already paying. And that penalty is for life. You can call or do this by computer. You can um, go to the plan finder on medicare.gov. You can call a SHIC counselor that can help you uh, compare your plans. You can also call 1-800-MEDICARE and talk to somebody about doing your plans. To join, this is something that uh, SHIC counselors can do. Um, I have people come into my office, you're going to bring me your list of prescriptions, or even better, if you will bring me your actual prescription bottles or containers, I will put that into the computer and then we will compare and find a plan that is best for you. Part D benefits, um, I'm gonna have you look at the screen here for just a second because this is something that does change every year. So in, for 2017, when we start looking at plans this fall, the, there are going to be plans that offer deductibles and there will be ones that don't have deductibles, but they can have a deductible of up to $400 for the year. And then we get into the initial coverage where the plan is going to pay 75%, the enrollee is going to pay 25%. And then we hit the gap or the donut hole. And the donut hole is where the plan is going to pay 49% for a generic or 10% for a brand name. The drug manufacturer is going to have a discount, but the enrollee is going to pay 51% of the cost for a generic drug and 40% of the cost of brand name drugs. Up until we have spent $4,950. And once we've spent $4,950 of those out-of-pocket costs, then we are going to go into what is called catastrophic coverage, where the plan is going to pick up 95%, you're going to pick up 
And the biggest thing to understand here is that you have different levels of the way this coverage works. So it is act very feasible if you are taking lots of medications, especially that the amount you will pay throughout the year will change based on whether or not you are meeting your deductible, going through initial coverage, if you hit the donut hole, and then for those that go ahead and get into catastrophic coverage. If you need help, I want you to know that help is available. And if anytime you meet these income guidelines, you can sign up for extra help. It doesn't matter what time of year it is, but the great thing about extra help is provided you've done it online, it is still available in paper form if you wanted it to be, but it is easiest to do it online. When we do it online, a lot of times we can get help available to you in two weeks. So this is a really great thing. And when we get help available to you, then it means you're going to get that special enrollment period. You can go back in and select a different Part D plan. And actually when you're on um, extra help, it means you have an open enrollment year round. So as your medications change, as your needs change, you can change plans then to fit those needs. So that's a really great thing when it comes to extra help. We understand that life happens and it doesn't always happen in nice, neat forms. So understand that when you need help, Help is available no matter what the time of year is. You do not have to wait for that open enrollment period to sign up for extra help. Medicare.gov, MyMedicare.gov is where your online information is for your benefits. If you choose to have the online account, this is where you can get all of your monthly statements. And so you can simply go online and check to make sure that your statements are what they say they are. The last thing that we need to talk about when we talk about Medicare is scams and fraud. Scams and fraud cost us billions of dollars every year. To be a, a little bit more exact, 60 billion, that's with a B, um, 60 billion dollars of fraud has happened in the last year and that's every year. So that is something that is really taking a toll on our system. Scammers can steal your identity. They can trick you into signing up for things that you didn't know. They can make claims on your behalf or on doctor's behalves. So this is very, very scary, very something that costs our system a lot as taxpayers and a reason that you need to keep your Medicare card safe. Treat that Medicare and Social Security number with care. Remember that Medicare is never going to call you or visit you. They are going to do everything through the mail. They're going to keep our postal system alive. You need to make sure that you record those doctor's visits as well so that you know when you've gone to the doctor. Keep a journal, write down, I went to the doctor, I got a shingle shot today, so that when that Medicare benefits, benefits summary comes or when you go online to check it, you can tell if that's been recorded or if they started charging you for all these lab fees that you didn't have done. Other things to remember when it, as we come here to a close, Medicare is an insurance program. And remember, it's a partnership between you and Medicare and it's not going to cover all of your health insurance costs. That there are multiple ways to get coverage within the system, but it's important to make the right decisions at the right times and get help if you need it. Okay, do not be afraid to ask for help. There is help available through SHIT counselors. You can contact your area agency on aging if you need help finding one of these people and we can work with you to get through whatever issues you may have. There are many resources available. We've talked about medicare.gov, socialsecurity.gov, as well, mymedicare and kansasinsurance.org are all great resources that will help you if you are somebody that works very well online. With that, that concludes this episode of Extension Ed Talks. I'm Erin Peter Sully. My contact info here is available if you do have more questions. And good luck as you begin this Medicare journey.